I started this YouTube channel after watching other great channels like Not Just Bikes, Climate Town, and uh, City Nerd. But the channel that got me interested in doing it in the first place, and the first channel I started watching that was about cycling and urbanism, was Shifter. Last week on Shifter, Tom Babin released a video about his first summer of riding a folding bike. I thought it was a great video and it resonated with me because last year I bought a folding bike. Uh, it, I got it in November and this has been the first summer I've been able to ride it and it's become my primary bike and I've put about 1800 kilometers on it this summer. I thought I would leave some comments on Tom's video but then I decided maybe this is a better way to do things. So Tom if you see this let me know what you think and let me know if this is an appropriate way to respond to you. So in this video I want to make three comments about Tom's video. The first is about his experience flying and my different experience. The second is about his good point about the folding bike being more of an urban bike. And the third I want to make a comment about something I think he missed out on. So let's go and look at the first point. In the shifter video it seemed that Tom's experience on an airplane with his bike was less than ideal. To be fair, Tom didn't buy his bike specifically to take it on airplanes. Tom's bike is a turn and it's similar to my wife's bike here, which is a Dahan, in that it has 20 inch wheels. The compactness of your folding bike is really dependent upon what size of wheels you have. So Tom's bike with his 20 inch wheels won't compact down quite as much as say my bike, which has 16 inch wheels. Even though I didn't buy my bike specifically for taking it on airplanes, I had a good experience when I brought my bike home from California. To be fair to Tom, he had his bike arrive just one night before he left on an airplane, whereas I knew I was going to California due to supply chain issues, I was not able to order my bike here in Canada, so I, was, I had it shipped to my uncle's house in California, so I had a month to think about how I was going to bring my bike home and 10 days in California with my bike to really figure out how I was going to bring it home and try different solutions. In Tom's video he uses the box that the bike originally came from. Now it looks like the box is oversized so it's not the proper dimensions for checked luggage so he has to take it to the oversized uh, luggage area and he likely has to pay more either because it's oversized or because maybe he told the airline that he does have a bike in it. When I came back with my bike I cut down the box that it came in just a little bit so that it was the proper size for checked luggage. I then threw a pair of dirty underwear and a toothbrush inside so when I checked my bike in and they said what's inside the box I said eh, clothes, toiletries and I didn't pay anything extra for an oversized box or oversized luggage and I didn't pay anything extra for a bike. Airlines love to charge extra for bikes no matter what kind of packaging you put it in, no matter if it's oversized or not. If you want to travel more with your bike, I suggest watching other great YouTube videos like Two Bikes for Adventure and Chris by Bike. They have lots of experience traveling with their bikes and their YouTube channels are dedicated to giving a lot of hints on what they've learned while traveling the world with their cargo bikes. In Tom's video, he concludes that a folding bike is a great urban bike, and I agree. My summer at my Brompton was very different from my usual cycling experience. I used to race bikes, though I was never very good at it. That means I used to squeeze this ass in a red spandex and ride 100 kilometers for fun. That thinking carried over into all of my riding. I would ride everywhere like I was in the breakaway at the Tour de France. If I could save five minutes on my commute each way, that's nearly an hour a week that I could use for something very productive. Ridiculous. It's not like we're college professors calling ourselves docs. It's not the same thing, my friend. Oh, sure it is. When someone has a heart attack on a plane, do they yell out, Yo, does anybody here have an art history PhD? A PhD is a doctorate. It's literally describing a doctor. Maybe let's refocus. No. With my Brompton, I'm not about to beat any of my Strava personal bests. I still ride a bit fast when I'm alone, but not as fast as before. This means I tend to enjoy my city as I ride around it. If I'm out enjoying my city and dressed as a normal person, I'm more apt to be able to enjoy the spontaneity you can only enjoy while walking or biking around your city. And that leads me to the point I'd like to add to Tom's video. Tom mentions taking his bike onto transit or into his work. I'd like to add that you can take your folding bike almost anywhere. I have a big U-lock that has kept my bikes safe for years. Due to its bulk, I often choose not to carry it when I don't think I'll need it, or I forget it at home entirely. I found it's easy and convenient to take my folding bike into most places I go. 
This summer, I've taken my bike onto a patio, into the bank, and into a number of other places. No one has said anything bad, and as long as my bike isn't dripping with water, mud, or snow, I expect that to continue. In fact, I've had a number of positive comments when I've brought my folding bike inside. I rarely had this kind of response when I was sheepishly asked to bring a regular bike inside. It helps me enjoy my city more when I don't have to carry a heavy lock and I don't miss out on something spontaneous because I forgot my lock. I also love my bike so I feel better when it's beside me instead of locked up somewhere. As Rich Carney's brother said, no lock, that bike never leaves your sight. So those are my comments on Tom's great video about his first summer with a folding bike. If you've liked this video, please consider giving it a like and you can leave a comment on your experiences with a folding bike. If you like me talking about folding bikes or more often cargo bikes, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you prefer stories on cargo bikes and watching me eat snacks, uh, you can click through to this video, which I think will be appearing here, where I go grocery shopping to two different stores and I have to stand outside guarding my snacks while Lao Po visits the second store. Thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you again soon on Bike Bike Nudge Nudge.